I'm Jared Kehokalole. I am the state representative for the 48th House District, which is Kaneohe, Kahalu'u, and all the way to Waiahole. I grew up in Kaneohe, and I went to high school at St. Louis School in Pololo. I went to the William S. Richardson School of Law at the University of Hawaii, and I graduated from there in 2013. When you're a lawyer, you have the opportunity to help people directly and really impact people's lives and realize that as a lawmaker, you can have a direct impact on individual people, but on the community as a whole. What is a typical day in the office like for you? So there's a lot of time that we spend just trying to help people directly, but then I spend a majority of my time meeting with people and researching um, different issues that we need to improve in the state, homelessness, affordable housing, just dealing with the cost of living in general, um, education, jobs, drugs. Those are some of the big ones, you know, off the top of my head that people are interested in and ones that I've really tried to take a lot of time to uh, focus on and really understand not only what's going on and you know how we got to this situation where these are such big problems but if we are able to fix them then you know we're changing we're changing a lot of people's lives in a positive way there are some uh, things that we've done in the last couple of years that have had a positive impact on getting people off the street and and uh, putting them on the right path you know that's really rewarding last year we passed a law in the state legislature that set a target for Hawaii to become 100% clean energy using state. The whole idea behind setting that goal is to bring everybody in the community together, the companies that use power, the residents, the government, uh, the utilities, to sort of get everybody on the same page, that this is the direction the state of Hawaii intends to go. On a going forward basis, everything we do in terms of energy policy is going to be aimed toward getting us completely off of fossil fuels. So I help the, the committee chair run hearings on issues related to labor and public employment. You know, anytime a bill is proposed in the legislature, um, the Constitution requires that that bill be given three public hearings. So that's primarily my job um, with the labor committee is to help organize and run those hearings and give people the opportunity to come and testify or submit written testimony on you know whether they think the bill is a good idea or not. What do you do in your spare time? I watch kids. <laughs> yeah. I have two, I have a son and a daughter and my wife is pregnant. We're about to have another baby coming soon. I like to take them to the beach for the most part. I've been getting them into boogie boarding and body surfing. So what is your favorite beach to go to with them? Uh, we go all over, but I think probably Sherwoods. That was where I used to go when I was a kid, so I still try to go out there. I mean, I, I've been thinking about getting a surfboard because now they're getting up big enough to where they can swim easy and I want to I want an excuse to go surfing. I think in general, if you have a passion for something, then you should put everything you have into it. Find a mentor. Go, and it's really as simple as going and finding people that are in a place where you'd like to be. Finding people that have done it already and just reaching out to them and sort of picking their brain about how they did it and you know, asking them for advice. Things are not as far out of your reach as some people think, as I thought, so just go for it.